what is up entrepreneurs welcome back to another video here on the channel we are stuck in spokane denver's having a bunch of storms i figure why not do a video so that you can see what i'm using when i'm traveling using the zve one so this is usually what i take anytime i'm traveling this will work no matter if you are just traveling about locally or if you're going out of town i usually try to stick to a one camera one lens setup so that way no matter where i am i'm comfortable with it fitting in my bag it's not too big and i'm not switching out cables all the time because anytime you're trying to do stuff like that it just makes your setup that much more cumbersome and the more i've found when it comes to the weight of stuff i don't want to carry it with me and so i have kind of refined this system them down to whether I'm using the ZBE 10 and I'm using the 10 to 18 or for this one for this trip it is the Tamron 20 millimeter f2.8 lens I do know I want to get TSA alert whether I'm using the Sony 10 to 18 f4 lens I find that I'm not liking f4 as much so I'll use instead an f2.8 lens there's really not an f2.8 zoom that's super compact with OSS that optical stabilization for Sony lenses but with stabilization in the ZBE one I don't have to worry about that anymore. So now uh, I'm using the Tamron 20 millimeter f2.8 snow stabilization in the lens, but I have IBIS and then of course dynamic active stabilization. And this is 20 millimeters right here. It is on a table, so I'm trying not to shake it too much. So the first thing is you want to make sure your audio game is set up. I have tried to love the DJI wireless microphones. I have tried to use them and they just do not work for me. I'm finding where the connection was getting lost uh, the last time, like I was using the magnets, put it on the speaker, just trying to capture that audio. And it just was not working for me. It was kept losing the signal and it would not re-pick it up. Then the first week that I used them, they just completely lost. I don't know, I guess the, I don't even know what to say. They lost it and they just froze. So the first week I had them, they literally just froze. And I was showing them off and I'm like, these are so dope. The case, super small, blah, blah, blah. They froze. So the DJI wireless mics are going back. So for now, I'm using the Rode Wireless Go 2s. They are hanging off of my uh, iPhone headphone things just so I can have the proper length. And I don't want to clip this to the shirt because then it'll be like right here, which is fine, but it's just kind of tacky. And I'm not moving around like a lot. So audio games, number one. Number two, I'm actually using the Movo VX R10 shotgun microphone. It looks like the Rode one because I'm using the Rode cable from the Wireless Go 2s and I'm using the wind muff from when I had like the mic me or video mic me whatever it was by Rode. I still have that mic. I use it as a decoration. It actually works really well but iPhones phones in general don't tend to come with a 3.5 millimeter jack anymore so it doesn't work so i just have it as decoration on the wall so instead i just use the wind buff because that actually looks better and works better than the movo one so it looks like the road shotgun mic but it's not then for power that's my other thing with it with the z batteries you really don't have to worry about carrying a bunch of batteries but no matter what camera i have i only carry only ever carry one other battery with me. And that's because I use a battery bank. This is the Charmas 10,000 milliamp battery bank. Now, Nikkor has one that is thinner profile and it weighs just slightly less. This is like six and a half pounds. Theirs is like 5.9 ounces. And I was thinking about getting it because it's a little bit lighter, but I think even though this one's great, it has two USB-A ports and a USB-C and micro port on there, I'm only thinking about swapping it out because of the cable. I have to use gaffer's tape just to hold that cable on there if I need to recharge it or whatever. And I'm finding I don't wanna carry anything with extra cables. I just want it to have a slot for it already. So I might be upgrading this Charmas one to their versions that is still 10,000 milliamps, still super lightweight, but the cable is kind of built in, so I don't have to worry about that. But otherwise, this one fits great. It fits into my day sling. My other thing that I like to use for power is a battery bank. Now, a lot of people are liking the nearer looking ones with the case where it closes over. I don't really prefer that because when I'm reaching into my bag and I just need to swap batteries, I can do that by just sliding this out and then push it on there and it's back in. I don't have to think about it. And it has a screen on top so I can actually see what the charging number is. And of course, as I said with the Charmas one, it has the built-in cable and I'm finding that works so much better for me. Now, this case is way better than any of the other ones that I saw because I'm finding that with the cable already built in, keeps it low profile. I don't have to flip the case open or anything like that. Because usually when I'm traveling, I don't really want to take the thing out completely, then do the battery. I just want to quickly lock it in. And these actually lock in. 
so these aren't coming off. I also get the screen, like I said, that I like, but this is reverse chargeable. And so it has a USB-A port on there. So if I have some juice in this battery, I can actually charge my phone. I can recharge the battery bank or whatever I need to, even these wireless go-tos if I need it to so that I could use them. The other thing that I like about this is that it has a USB micro as well as a USB-C that I can use to charge. So no matter what cable I have with me, which the fact that I have the Charmask one, this one, um, I just like to have the USB micro cable for this one. It's super duper small. And it's the only one that I have that's that small. So that works best. I don't have to worry about using this for anything. So that's why I keep this one as a USB micro and I can use it to charge this at the end of the day. So that works out really, really well. And these two together, super, super thin, doesn't require a whole lot. And so power is a big deal when I'm traveling, but I don't want the power situation to take over my whole setup and scenario because that winds up being super frustrating, constantly having to carry around a bunch of stuff. It gets heavy. And I mean heavy as in the weight adding up, not that stuff being heavy, but it does add up. So those are what I use for power. And, it, and of course, USB-A to the wall outlet that came with one of my cameras, one of my Sony cameras, I don't remember. Uh, and so I still have this. And so that always goes in the bag. And that's the power situation for anything I want to charge. I can literally charge anything and I don't need any other accessories for this to work. Now, my camera setup is going to be based off of whatever camera I'm currently using, which is right now the ZV-E1 and the Tamron 20mm f2.8 lens. I've found that I really, really like as far as the ND filter situation, the magnetic one by Freewell. And so this will magnetically hold if I just need to take it off like I'm indoors, I don't need it, but I can magnetically clip it right on there. And then I have an ND filter. And if I don't need it, I can take it off. Then I can just clip it on here and it's magnetic. I usually put these in my pockets and I've sat on these <laughs> and I'm not small by any means. So I've sat on these and they've never been an issue for me. They've worked out really well. So I really like using those just because it's it's not cumbersome. I don't have to really think about it. And that's what I find when it comes to gear when traveling or if I'm just creating videos out and about. I do not want this to be cumbersome because the more that it is, the less that I want to use it. And if I'm not using it, then it just becomes a waste. So this next one is something that I have not seen anybody else use, but this is something that has kind of been my own creation just because I find when I want to make videos outdoor, you need it. And that is my DIY gearbox that stays in my day bag. And this includes everything, literally anything that I would need to make any cable connection. All the cables in there are data connect, connect, data capable. They're data capable. <laughs> So when I needed to change the left and the right channel for the Rode Wireless Go 2s, I needed to plug that into my phone. Well, I needed to use the little dongle adapter thing so that I could do that. And that's not just for the Wireless Go 2s. It works well for that. But that way, if I need to stream with my phone uh, and I want to charge that via USB-C, I can. So having that in the case just works really well. And so it's dual purpose. And that's the other thing with traveling with gear is that it can't just do one job. It needs to do multiple jobs. So if you're going to carry the weight or of whatever that device is, it needs to make sense. The other thing that I found in there is like two is one and one is none. So I have a backup TRRS to TRS 3.5 millimeter cable. So if anything happens for any reason or you're getting shortages or outage with whatever you're doing, I always have a backup one of these because sometimes I'll have my shotgun microphone on. That's all I plan to use. And then I find out that I forgot the cable because I was using it for something else. So I keep a backup one of these and I keep a TRS to three. <laughs> The TSA is throwing me off. Okay, so I use a TRRS to TRS cable in there. So if I am using anything with my smartphone, I have that plus some of these Zeiss lens wipes and just, uh, it is a USB-C to USB-A adapter and a USB-A to USB-C, basically these little chiclets. All I need is a USB-C to USB-C cable. No matter what I use, even this other micro cable, I can make it into whatever I need to with the re regular stuff that I'm using. So if I need to turn this USB micro cable into a USB-C to a USB micro or whatever, I can. So that's the whole purpose of everything being dual purpose in the kit. I keep some toupee tape in there. Uh, so wind muffs for my lapel that I use for the roads. I'm gonna have to make a 3D printed case to specifically carry the stuff I like to carry because I'm finding even with the road case that they came out with, that's still probably not going to work for me. But those are the things that I usually carry with me when I'm traveling. 
and just this little gearbox it's, little, it's like a it's the newer fw50 battery case that this is and i wasn't getting it for the batteries i was getting it for the case and this fits into my day bag that i carry with me no matter what i'm doing so anywhere i'm at i can always create content it's never a hassle and just with a few things that and my phone i am lethal i can create anything that i need to come up with any connections that i need to now all the flights are going out so <laughs> let me finish wrap up this video before another tsa or flight attendant comes on so but with all this stuff it's not a lot but it's just enough of the right thing so that it's not a lot of stuff i'm having to carry with me it works in my little fanny pack sling that i like to use and uh, anytime that i'm traveling this stuff is already with me in my book bag and i'm good to go so whether you make the video outdoors or you're just going on the go you're going for travel make sure you bring all the stuff that you need i did another video talking about my 10 favorite settings on the zve one that are just i think the top 10 features that this camera has that I'm not seeing in a whole lot of the other ones. Hopefully they come in the Sony ones, but they're not right now. Make sure you check on the video on the screen and check that one out. I've been using the Sony ZV-1 for a ton of videos. I just finished a bunch of videos with Ray Edwards and it's amazing. I need to show you what these 10 things are because if you're using them, it makes life so much easier. And if you're not, you're missing the boat.